Officials in Ohio are warning about an increase in pneumonia cases among children. The Buckeye State is now the first in the nation to report an outbreak. First News reporter John Rudder spoke with a doctor at Akron Children's Hospital and has more on how to keep the kids healthy. It can be a little tricky sometimes differentiating between a pneumonia and like just a bad cold. Which is exactly why health officials are warning parents to be on alert this cold and flu season. Since August, doctors in southern Ohio have seen a surge in respiratory illnesses among children, specifically pneumonia, with the average patient around eight years old. Most bacterial pneumonias are um, triggered by viral infections, viral respiratory tract infections. Most viral respiratory tract infections are spread via contact or respiratory droplets. Viruses like influenza, RSV, and the common cold typically spike in colder months. Cases can be mild to severe with symptoms that include trouble breathing, a severe cough, and a high uncontrollable fever. A fever over, you know, at or over 102, you know, for, for more than a day or two, um, or one that's completely unremitting, like it's over 102 and it, it never comes down with Tylenol or Motrin or things like that. Health officials are cautioning that the rise in cases is not believed to be from a new respiratory disease and that there's no evidence suggesting that the outbreak is connected to others happening nationally or internationally. They're certainly looking at, you know, is there some kind of novel um, infectious agent that's causing those pneumonias? So far, um, every credible source that I've looked at has indicated that there's not. And just like during the COVID-19 pandemic, the best way to protect yourself against getting sick is washing your hands. That's why hand hygiene is so powerful because it's always the final common pathway. Like no matter what you came into contact with in the environment, like your hand is almost always the way that it gets into your body ultimately. So reporting in Youngstown, John Rutter, WKBN 27 First News.